So I'm beginning to research alternatives for the well-known hood pad issue on the 124 series. This is heat insulative foam with a foil backing and it's also self-adhesive so there's no need to use any glue when applying this to your hood. It's not going to look as good as the original product but hey they're all starting to go crunchy now. None so bad in my collection as the red 124. It's actually starting to fall to pieces and it's uh, crumbling and dropping bits of rubbish all over my engine and we can't have that so this needs to go. First thing I did was put down my horrible magenta colored blanket just to protect the engine from getting covered in all of that rubbish when I start pulling that original hood pad off. Uh, it is going to be a messy job to remove this. Um, yeah, it's very, very crumbly. But fortunately, because of that, it's actually ridiculously easy to remove. Two fingers, and it's basically just falling off. All of that foam has disintegrated over the years. There's no structural integrity left to it whatsoever. You just touch it and it turns to dust. You can see it here. You just touch it and it crumbles with the weakest of effort. That's doing absolutely nothing anymore. So I then grabbed my spatula and being fully aware that I'm going to have to vacuum out this uh, crevice at the bottom of the hood, I got to work removing the remains of that disintegrated foam. And you can just see how much garbage is coming off that. So yes, you definitely want to have something protecting the engine from getting covered in this junk. Um, probably would have been a good idea to block off access to that crevice at the bottom of the hood as well. But I have a vacuum cleaner and a long straw, so that was not really a concern for me. There's something somewhat therapeutic about <laughs> removing this stuff, but uh, you know, the fun doesn't last long because it's not a very large surface area. After that was done, I decided to move on to other cleaning methods. Um, this is what it looked like after the spatula alone. Uh, pretty reasonable job actually. And there's lots and lots of junk caught down there, which I will vacuum out later. I grabbed one of these dish brushes that I have lying around. I have many of them. Um, back before hyperinflation, I bought like 10 at a time because they always have uh, useful purposes out in the shed working on cars. I then scrubbed the remains of that hood, um, just making sure there was nothing loose left on there. And then I used soapy water just to clean it as best I could. And then I allowed that to dry. The self-adhesive foam needs a really clean surface, otherwise it's not going to stick properly. And since I still have this piece of fabric from the original hood covering, I decided to use that as a stencil. So I cleaned off all of the junk remaining on that. Made a mess everywhere, of course. Um, but yeah, it's the perfect stencil now. Just need a method of securing that down on the foam in the correct orientation so the adhesive side is up on the uh, fabric piece as well as the self-adhesive foam so it's going to be the correct orientation and with that correctly weighted down I can then trace around the perimeter with a permanent marker of course I didn't realize of course it's waxed paper so it's not going to work very well with a permanent marker but nonetheless, it did the job anyway. It's kind of hard to see, but you know, it still worked. Uh, 
and I was somewhat concerned that my crappy scissors might not be able to cut this material, but uh, it wasn't a problem at all. It was actually ridiculously easy. Now with the stencil out of the way, I can get started on cutting that up. And that's the final product. The three-year-old myself would be quite pleased with my tracing and cutting efforts today. Now, this is just a test fit to see how well I cut it out. Yes, it is ugly as hell, but the moral of the story is here, it's going to stop my paint getting destroyed on the surface of the hood from engine heat. So, yeah, it's ugly. It doesn't look as good as the original, but in reality it's probably stronger than the original. Um, and the other issue is I just can't get one. I've, I've waited since May to get a correct one. Um, postage to Australia is a nightmare at the moment. I've actually had to do an item not received claim from eBay because it just never showed up. So I just gave up and tried this today. So the wax paper is now removed and I have stuck it down. All of the flat surfaces are well adhered, but any of the bumps like on these reinforcing straps, well, it's not going to stick down in those areas. But at the end of the day, this stuff is so rigid. Um, I don't even know that you need to remove that backing because it sticks in there um, rather solidly just from its rigidity. And yes, it's ugly, but at least I can close my hood and I don't even know it's there. But it's not going to destroy my paint now and I can happily drive this around with peace of mind.